Hello, and welcome back to the Perseverance Works. Today I'm just going to show a little video about a basic milling process uh, and how you can do it by hand, and that's flattening. And this is useful if you're just really into doing stuff by hand. Uh, it's useful if you don't have the power equipment necessary to do it, uh, which would be a, a joiner. It's also useful anytime you're flattening something that is too large for a machine joiner or too large for the machine joiner that you have, whether that's a 10 inch wide board or for example, this bench top, which was done with the exact same process. So I'm gonna walk you through how we take out any cup, any bow and any twist in this board and how we do that entirely with a hand plane. So you can see, uh, if I go ahead and just chuck my, my board into the vise here, if I check it with a straight edge, this has a pretty substantial cup in it. And that's, that should be visible even to you on the camera, that there's some, there's some light between the middle of this board and the straight edge. And that's true all the way along it. You can even see it in the, the rough surfacing of this from the mill. So the first thing I want to do is take that out before I address any twist and any bow. And I'll do that with my number six Lee Nielsen bench plane. Uh, the, the longer plane is going to give you a flatter finished result. So this isn't this isn't something that you should be using like a number four or, or a block plane for, with the notable exception of if it's a really small piece, you know, a narrow piece, and you're not going to be able to seat this accurately on it, then you can use a smaller plane for some steps and then use a larger plane for the final passes. This number six is a four plane, so it's not as long as a joiner, but it's, it's close, and I find it's a really good compromise for this between weight and accuracy. So the first thing I do is I apply a little wax. I like Candelia wax, just makes everything move a little, a little smoother and faster. And with the blade set fairly coarse, I begin to work directly perpendicular to the grain to take that cup out. So as you can hear and see, it takes a cut at the beginning and the end there and, and nothing off this middle because it's taking an average of the two high points. And so we keep working it across like that to take the cup out. But it's important to understand that this isn't doing anything to address any bow or twist in the board because along its length, I am only averaging that two and three quarter inch wide section. So if there's any twist in this or any, any bow, it's still gonna be there because I'm just moving along with that. Right now we're just worrying about that cupped face. And this will absolutely tear out your far edge. You never wanna do it this way with your finished edge unless you first put a, a hefty chamfer on there so that you're not tearing fibers out.
Now you can see here, it's getting really close. It's, it's more or less taking the cup out at this end. It's still present here at the end where it was worse to start out, but it's getting really close. And the level of perfection you're looking for here will depend on the project you're doing. So if this is the finished face or the almost finished face of a panel or a bench top, you're gonna to wanna to get it absolutely perfectly flat. Now for me on this project, I just need a reference face. So this face is what I'll use to cut the joinery and make all my measurements and marking off of, but ultimately it gets cut away. There's gonna be a curve in this piece. So none of this is visible. And that means I just need to get it flat enough that I have a good reference surface. So I'm gonna go a little further on this cup, but at the end of the day, if these points and, and all of this are in the same plane, I don't have to worry about getting every last millimeter of this cup out, out at this end. If your plane starts getting hard to push, it either means you're dull or you just need a little more wax. And putting a little more wax on will make it really clear which that is. Uh, if your plane is sharp and you got a little, a little lubricant on there, it should just zip across there with, with very relatively little force. So there we've got this to where this is flat almost entirely from edge to edge. Just a little bit of that cup left here and in the middle and a lot of that will even get taken out in our next step. Excuse me, I had to bandage myself. I caught myself on one of these splinters from the run out. I want to be careful with those. So now that I've dealt with the cup. I want to deal with any twist in this board. And the way we deal with twist in a surface is we take a nice long plane that's going to take a good average of it and we work at 45 degrees across that in both directions. And that's going to average this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner all the way across the board and take out any twist. So now that I'm taking nice full shavings in both directions across it, I switch to my final operation, which is to make sure that it's flat from end to end. To move my auxiliary camera in order to do that. And this should go fairly quickly. Make sure this is the point at which, especially if you're going for a finished face, you'll be taking the finest cut. And this is the point at which what you're looking for is just a clean, smooth shaving all the way from one end to the other. like so. And once I'm seeing that, I check my work. I check it from end to end, make sure that there's no hump or dip. I check it from corner to corner to make sure that it's not, 
It's not rocking on anything in the middle. And from side to side, just to make sure that I did, in fact, take that cup out. And that's flat. So I've sped this process up in the video, but total time to flatten this, which as you saw at the beginning, was a pretty heavily cupped board. This was, a, this was the worst one in the batch. I wanted to show you that I could take that out of this in a total time of 17 minutes, real time. So it's some work, but if everything's set up right, it's mostly just the weight of the plane that you're moving. If you're sharp, if you're waxed, if everything's good, you've got your grain read properly, it's a relatively quick way to get a good, flat, usable surface on any piece of wood, no matter how big it is. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you want more little uh, how-to videos and project updates from the Perseverance Works. And Otherwise, have a wonderful day.